How's it going YouTube? This is Talk F bringing you another video and in today's video I'm going to be doing my very first game console review and that console is going to be the PlayStation TV. Ah yes, the notorious PlayStation TV, a system that some people love, some people hate. Um, and I gotta say, I'm on the side of the fence that absolutely loves this little guy. It's an awesome, awesome system. So I'm going to, uh, go over some of the features on the system itself, um, before we jump into the interface and all that good stuff. Um, so, as you can see on the front here, we have the nice little Sony logo, um, accompanied by a million fingerprints. I apologize for that. Um, up here we have, uh, the Sony logo again. Um... And on the back here, this is where all the magic happens. So we have over here on the left, uh, the power button. All right, turn the system on and off, obviously. Um, next to that is your uh, memory card slot, um, followed by the USB port. Now, the USB port uh, is used to connect your um, controllers to, and I'll show you how that works in a minute. Um, the Right next to that, you have your HDMI port, uh, obviously, for... Uh, uh, to output to the television and uh, then you have your Ethernet port right beside that for internet access now this system also does have a uh, built-in Wi-Fi which is awesome so um, you don't have to connect it via uh, uh, Ethernet wire um, and then of course you have your little uh, power port there on the side um, now if we look at the top of the system okay see so it says PlayStation Vita up there that's where you have your uh, a port for your Vita games. They go right in there. Okay, have a little indicator light there on the side. It tells you when the game's loading or whatever. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much the system, uh, the the PlayStation TV system. That's all it has on the actual hardware itself. Um, so we'll put that aside for now. Um, and then another very important part of the system is the controller. And you have a choice here. You could either use the PlayStation 3 controller, or you can use the PlayStation 4 controller. Um, I personally use this one uh, for the most part. Um, well, actually, this is the only controller I use on my Vita TV, uh, my PlayStation TV. Um, I think it's a really great controller for that, and also it has the touchpad. So some games actually do support the touchpad, which is awesome. So I, if you do get this uh, system, I would definitely go with the PlayStation 4 controller controller. Uh, for the system. So we'll set that aside. Now, um, the game that I'm going to be uh, putting in the system today is Earth Defense Force 2 Invaders from Planet Space. This is a recently released, just a few months old, uh, PlayStation Vita game. Yes, there's still some PlayStation Vita games coming, and this happens to be an exclusive to the Vita, and it works perfectly fine on the PlayStation TV. Alright, so... There you go, you have your little game in there, little Vita game. Alright, and that, as I showed you guys, it goes right in this port up here. And it goes like, whoops, backwards, goes like that. Pops right in, All right, not too hard. Um, and then, of course, we're going to be needing our memory card. Now, the Vita TV does have one gigabyte built in, but... You know, one gigabyte is nothing these days. You do have to get some kind of memory card. I would highly suggest that you do, especially with uh, all the sales and on digital games on PSN. Um, you're definitely going to need one. So I got a 16 gig. This one is uh, relatively cheap. You know, the, the other ones, 32, 64 gig, they can get very expensive. Um, but for now, I just got this and it, you know, it does me well. So there we go. Now we're all set up. So now we're going to connect the system. All right, I have all my wires set up here. All right, so pretty straightforward, right? You put your HDMI in there. Then you put your USB cable. If you uh, haven't already synced your controller, you would have to do this first. So that goes right in there. And then finally, your power cable. Now, as soon as you put the power cable in, the system turns on. There's your little indicator light lets you know the system's on. All right, so we're all done with that. Now let's take a look at the games and the interface. So I'm going to back up here. All right, here we go. There we 
there's EDF installing there. All right, so we're all good to go here. So um, here's the PlayStation Vita interface. All right, nothing different here. It's the same as it is on the Vita system um, <clears throat> with a few differences like the power uh, bubble up here and stuff like that, but not, nothing too, uh, too different. Um, we have the PlayStation Store, which we'll take a look at a little later. Uh, trophies, friends. The PS4 Link, so this is one of the biggest features and the most desired features of the PlayStation TV is its ability to stream PlayStation 4. So you can have your Vita TV on your living room and have your PS4 in your bedroom and you can stream your PS4 from your bedroom to your living room, which is awesome. All right, so that's uh, one very cool feature there. Over here I have some apps. Um, unfortunately, most apps on the Vita do not work on the Vita TV, which is sad, uh, the PlayStation TV, um, such as Netflix, for example, it's a big one that does not work on here. So that kind of stinks, um, <clears throat> but it's not too big a deal. I mean, nowadays everything streams Netflix. So, I mean, you know, it, you probably already have a Roku or a TV with Netflix built in or whatever. So not a big deal. Um, and then we have, uh, some apps that do work like Crackle, and Crunchyroll and then of course PlayStation Now so this is another very uh, cool app here because this lets you stream full PlayStation 3 games through the PlayStation Now service which is pretty awesome alright so there's that and now let's get into some of the games so we have um, some PSP and PS1 games here uh, I love me the PSP and the PS1 I thought they were great systems so it's awesome that I get to play them on the full screen right here on my PlayStation TV. Um, so these are just a handful of the games that I have. Um, obviously 16 gig, I can't fit everything on there, but here's the ones that I'm actually playing right now. So I have Lunar, E7, Texas Force, Valkyria Chronicles 2, Dissidia, and the Third Birthday for PSP games, and Sweet Code N2, Mega Man X4, uh, Mega Man Legends, and Klonoa Door to Phantom Isle for PS1. Um, <clears throat> all these games look great. I'm going to show you a couple of them in a little bit, but before we do that, uh, let's take a look at the PlayStation by PlayStation Vita games. So again, these are just a few of the games that I own. Um, and unfortunately, quite a few of the ones that I have, like Gravity Rush and so on and so forth, do not work on the PlayStation TV, which is kind of sad. But, um, for now I have here Dynasty Warriors 8 Extreme Legends. Um, this is a multi-plat game. It's very good, though. On the plays very well on the PlayStation Vita TV. Got Freedom Wars. We have uh, EDF Two, which I, that's the game that I put in earlier. Um, I have Jet Car Stunts, which was on sale recently. It's a really fun uh, stunt game. Um, we have Fly Hunter Origins, which is a little side scroller, which is really good. Cell Damage HD. This is uh, one of those games that was cross by. So if you buy it on one system. For example, the PlayStation 3, you get it on the Vita and PS4 for free, um, which is pretty awesome. Um, I don't know if this game's on PS4, but I know it's on PS3 at least. <laughs> and then we have uh, Resogun, another cross-buy game. Recently uh, came out on uh, PS3 and Vita, but it originally came out on PS4. But um, it plays very well on the Vita TV, and it looks awesome. Uh, Minecraft. Doesn't really need an intro. Everybody knows what Minecraft is. Hyperdimension Action uh, Unleashed is a great, great hack and slash game. Very similar to Dynasty Warriors, but very cutesy, very funny type game. Um, I'll probably show some gameplay of that in a little bit as well. And then we have J-Stars Victory Versus Plus. Another multi pack game came out on PS4 and PS3. Um, but of course, I also got the, the Vita version just because. And it's an awesome game. I really enjoy it. All right, so let's take a look at a Vita game. We're going to start with uh, EDF2. All right, we'll just start it like that, just like we do on the Vita, no difference there. <clears throat> the big difference is though, we get to play it on the big screen. Ooh, awesome stuff. All right, so let's wait for this really nice loading screen here. Preparing to start the application, that's awesome. Xseed, great company. All right. <clears throat> loading, loading, loading. All right, here we go. Choose where to save your progress. 
All right. <clears throat> okay. Before starting a mission. All right. So here is EDF two. I'm just gonna get right into the game. So we'll go deploy and we'll try this mission out. And I'm going to play on normal. All right. There's another very blurry load screen. <laughs> All right, so here we are in the game. As you can see, the game uh, runs very nicely, very smoothly. All right, we have uh, a couple hundred bugs around here, and the game still runs very well. This is actually a port of a PS2 game, um, but it still looks excellent on the Vita TV, as you can see. Um, and uh, it plays real smooth. You get to kill a bunch of bugs. The graphics are pretty good overall. I think they look really nice on the big screen. Um, and yeah, so that's EDF2. It's a really fun game. Uh, maybe I'll do a review on this in the future. Um, but yeah, so there we go. So that's one game for the PlayStation TV that works really well and that's really fun. Um, so let's take a look at... Uh, we'll take a look at J-Stars on here. J-Stars actually looks and plays very well on the Vita TV. So I'm really glad that I got it here. And uh, I did get it digital. It was on sale uh, recently on PSN for $10, I think, um, which is an excellent price for the game. So uh, I had to pick it up, and I did. All right, so as you can see here, you see the little finger up there. I forgot to show this before, but um, this is actually the touch panel that I'm touching see so it supports it just pretty neat and then you just click in and if you wanna touch something on the screen alright again not every game supports it um, like this one just supports it for you know certain things but um, yeah so let's check out arcade mode no actually we'll check out free battle we're just gonna do a quick quick battle one player this supports ad hoc which is awesome uh, random yeah, that's fine. Surprise me. Alright. Let's just get into the game. Let's do this. Alright, so we're good to go here. Um, so let's go ahead and start the game. And uh yeah, everything's good to go. Let's check this game out. Another game that I highly recommend, uh, especially if you can get it for cheap, I'd go for it. Um, it's really fun. I waited a long time to pick it up. I mean, I didn't get it when it first came out. Um, but hey, I only paid 10 bucks for it, and I'm very happy with it. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, so let's see how this game is. Wait for the little loading screen there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Loading, loading, loading. There we go. As you can see, the game looks really good. It looks really good on the big screen, even if it's stretched out a bit. Um, so let's get into the game itself. So yeah, as you can see, it looks really good. Runs extremely smooth. All right. Um, <clears throat> and uh, we have a lot of characters on screen. You know, we have big stages, and it still runs really well. You know, it's. It's pretty awesome. All right, and uh, yeah, like I said, it has uh, ad hoc mode. So if you have uh, a friend that has the uh, uh, Vita TV, or uh, I think it should also work with the Vita. So maybe if a friend has a Vita, you guys can play against each other, which is pretty awesome. All right. So yeah, I suck at it. <laughs> like I said, I just recently bought it, so I'm still kind of getting used to it. But um, but yeah. So there you go. So that is. Um, J Stars Victory uh, S versus. All right. So the next thing I'm going to show you guys is how PSP games run on this system. Um, now one very cool thing is, well, let me jump into the game and I'll show you uh, one of the really cool features that I like on a PlayStation TV for PSP games. So we're going to check out the Cydia Duo Decum uh, Final Fantasy here. Really weird name for a really awesome game. Uh, this is another game that was recently on sale on PSN, so I finally picked it up, and oh man, this game is awesome. Alright, Square Enix, 
one of my favorite companies. All right. So here we are, the city of Dual Decum 012 Final Fantasy. So let's load game. All right, let's jump right into it. I only have a 30 minutes gameplay. As like I said, I just recently bought it. Receive mail from Moogles. Yes, that's what I always wanted. Totally going to be reading that later. Um, so let's check out story mode. And let's see. We'll just repeat the chapter just so you guys can see it. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, so the game is full screen, which is awesome. Um, it is, it is stretched, you know, the PSP games do not look as good as the Vita games, obviously. The games are stretched, they're not, um, it's not like on an emulator where, where the resolution is, is, uh, higher or anything. It's the same resolution it was on a PSP. But even with that, check it out, it looks really awesome. I mean, this is an in-game, uh, cutscene, um, and the graphics look great on the system. I mean, I, I'm really impressed by it. Even stretched out on my 1080p television. It still looks excellent. Alright. So here's a little in-game. Walking around. Alright. So yeah. There you go. Looks pretty awesome. And one of the cool features. Check this out. Here's my right analog stick. And... Look at that, I'm using it to control the camera, which is awesome. That's an amazing feature. Obviously, the original PSP did not have a right analog stick, so third-person games were a pain trying to get the camera around using either the uh, the uh, D-pad or the R and L button, so on and so forth. Um, so this is how that works. If you hold the home button here, you hold that, this menu pops up, you go to settings, and then over here where it says right stick, you can assign these different buttons to the right analog stick. So you can, uh, there's the left uh, analog stick you could assign to it. The D-pad, which, which is what I have assigned right now. Left and right on D-pad, up and down D-pad. The face buttons, L and R, start and select. So you have plenty of choices there. Um, and you set it up according to whatever game you're playing. But this is really awesome. I mean, I'm using the right analog stick right now. And that's just an amazing feature. And again, the game still looks really good. Even stretched out. Alright. So yeah, so this is the City of Duo Decom. So an awesome game. Alright. So there's PSP gameplay on here. So let's check out um, some PS1 gameplay. So let's see. I think we'll go with Klonoa. So Klonoa is a nice old school platformer. It came out on PS1 years ago. Um, sad to say I just recently discovered this game. I'd say a couple years ago. Um, thanks to another YouTuber uh, named uh, Pete Dorr. I watched his video uh, review of um, where he talked about Klonoa 2 I think it was. I picked that up on PS2 and loved it. So I know I had to pick up this game as well. Um, now this game was actually also... Uh, re-released on the Wii uh, with new graphics and and voice acting and all that good stuff um, I don't think I started a game yet <laughs> yeah I just installed this on here yeah so uh, yes yes oh boy ABC yep that's my name Apka oh my god I cancel it <laughs> Here we go. I promise you guys we'll get into this game sometime today. All right, end. Let's do this. Now, one thing I will say is that unfortunately on the PlayStation TV, you can't stretch the screen for PS1 games, which is a little weird. Um, I mean, it's not a big deal to me, but it might be for some people. Um, but yeah, that's something that you could do on a PS3, uh, but unfortunately you can't do on here. But anyway, look, so this is a PS1 game on here. As you can see, very colorful, very beautiful. It looks great on the PlayStation TV. Runs nice and smooth, no slowdown, no issues. Um, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, as you can see, it's it's really awesome. And um, again, this is this is basically running on a Vita parts so you could actually take out the memory card on this system and if you have a Vita you can put it right into your Vita and, and take the games on the go 
So, you know, this is great for when you're at home, even if you already have a Vita. When you're at home, you can play on the big screen. And then when you're on the road, you just take the memory card out and, and continue your games. So that's another great reason to have this system. All right. So, yeah, so that's a PS1 game on here. Looks great, plays great. Um, and um, the next thing that I'm going to be showing you guys, which is the last thing I'll be showing you guys, is the PlayStation Store. Now, um, if you have a Vita, uh, you're going to see pretty much the same stuff. But this one's tailored specifically to the PlayStation TV, so the games you see on here will work on PlayStation TV. All right. So let's check out new releases so you guys can see some of the newer games that just recently came out that work on this system. Breath of Fire 3, which is a game that I plan on picking up. That's awesome. This is a PSP game, I believe. Um, and it's just released uh, literally like two days ago. And uh, it works on the system, which is awesome. A Boy and His Blob is another great game that was originally on the Wii, I believe. Um, and it finally got released on the PlayStation TV, which is awesome. Really nice graphics on this game. Um, you have some Lego games, of course. Um, every system has them. The Atelier series. This game actually has really nice graphics. Um, I don't own any of them on the Vita TV, but I have played them on PS3. And as you can see, the visuals are awesome in this game. And they run on the system, which is great. They work perfectly on here. Um, <clears throat> yeah, Bastion, Summon Knight. Some, some really good games. This is the one that I just got. Uh... Uh, Earth Defense Force, as you can see, it came out in December, so it's it's fairly recent. Um, <clears throat> Star Wars Sword Art Online is another game. This game was actually on sale. I didn't pick it up though, which I probably should have. It looked really cool. Um, but yeah, that's another great RPG, and it's exclusive to the Vita and PS4. So if you want to play it, you have to get in either one of those systems. Uh, Corpse Party is another great one. Um, and uh, Persona 4, Dancing All Night, supposed to be good. Samurai Warriors, Fort 2. So, as you can see, there's some awesome games on here. You know, One Piece, you know, these are great, great games. So, you know, the PS Vita is, it's not dead yet. There's still some awesome stuff on here that's worth picking up, worth playing on the Vita. Alright, or PlayStation TV. Now, the last thing I'm going to go over are the apps. Now the apps, when you have a, a, a box that's going to be connected to your TV, I know you're going to be curious about what kind of apps you're going to have on here because we're all used to apps. We all love them. We all want them. So again, we have Crackle and Crunchyroll, the ones I have installed. You also have, uh, oh, this is a new one. This one just came out. Drama Fever, as you could stream uh, uh, dramas. <laughs> Uh, oh, Korean, Japanese, Taiwan, and Europe. Oh, that's that's interesting. I have to check that out. Um, Hulu. All right, that's another great uh, streaming service that you can use. Uh, Live Tweet. That's for Twitter. Um, and PlayStation. I already talked about HD concerts. I have no idea what that is. And Snag Films. Um, another I guess movie app, uh, TV app. So not too much, but um, you do have some stuff there, uh, which is pretty neat. And then you have uh your themes if you'd like to change that I have a few installed um, which I'll show you before we end the video but yeah so that's the PlayStation Store um, it's not super well organized to be honest with you um, you gotta kinda look around a little bit um, but uh, you can find some good stuff here and this is a great family system too and they have a little as you can see a little tab here that's just for family uh, specifically for family games so you can look through here and find some games that uh, you think your family would like you know this is a great system for your kids uh, if you don't want to spend a lot of money if you have a young child um, and yeah some great games here Sly Cooper which I own as you can see it says free because I own the game uh, but I uh, don't have it installed right now but that game also looks great on here all right so anyways uh, the last thing we'll look at is some themes because I do need to change my theme so that's going to be in settings. All right. And we'll go down to themes and backgrounds. I have the default theme. So these are some of the free themes that you can get uh, for the system. Um, Uncharted theme is pretty nice. The crystal theme. Uh, we have a stitch, stitching theme, and four seasons. So let's see. Which one do I want? Hmm. Well, you know, it's really cold today. It's very wintry weather. So... Let's check out some 
of the four seasons. See, that looks very happy. It looks kind of warm and nice. So we'll do that theme. All right. There we go. Very, very nice. Um, and let's turn on the system music so we can listen to something relaxing. Ah. So relaxing. And after this long review, I think I could use some relaxing music. Thank you all so much for joining me for my first console review. This is Talk F. And please subscribe. Please like the video. Please comment. And let me know if you guys would like me to review any of these games that I have. Or any other game you might be interested in. Because I might have it. It just might not be on the system installed as of right now. Um, but yeah, just let me know in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful day.